Most guys suck at presenting themselves in an attractive manner. The way men and women use dating apps is completely different. Men have a more wide a cast net mentality, whilst women are much more selective. So in order to succeed, you need to do your best to stand out in a positive way. Think of a dating profile as marketing a product where you are the product. If you had a really cool product, you would want to present it in the best possible light. It could be the best product in the world, but if you're not presenting it in an attractive manner, no one would buy it. Thus, a good profile is basically marketing yourself. Before making your profile, you have to choose which app you want to present yourself on. Different apps have different demographics. Some are more relationship oriented and other are for people looking for something a bit more casual. The three most popular apps are the following. Tinder. This is the most popular dating app in terms of pure numbers. It leans much more towards a crowd looking for something casual, like a hookup. Hinge, it can be both for relationship oriented or for something casual, but because the way the app is set up, it leans towards attracting people that are looking for relationships. Bumble is pretty much similar to Hinge was one the woman has to message first. Breaking down a successful profile. A successful profile is one that authentically displays the best version of you. This includes picking your best photos, writing a brief bio, and conversing. Photos are the most important part of your profile. Having good photos can make or break your profile. Here are some general rules on the kind of photos you should and shouldn't include. Your very first photo is the most important. Most people will determine if they like you solely based on it. Make sure your first photo, where it clearly shows your face, is well lit with good lighting, not too close, not too far, or a selfie. Excessive selfies aren't attractive and make you look like a loser. Have pictures where it's clear someone else took them. Keep group photos to a minimum, maximum of one of your profile and make sure it's evident which one is you. At least one photo where you're presenting a natural smile. Some examples of photos you can take are when you're displaying a hobby, one with a pet, um, gym photos if you have a good physique, if not skip this, formal picture where you're suited up, written. Your written bio isn't super important, but it can be a deterrent if you have a bad one. A good bio can be a great conversation start at best, and a bad one can have people that would otherwise like to skip you. In general, with bios, what you shouldn't say matters more than what you should say. Here are a few examples of things you should never have in your bio. Ultimatums, for example, if you're this, then swipe left. Nothing that brags. Nothing divisive, like politics. In general, keep it lighthearted and informative, like your school, hobbies, or interests. Swiping slash liking. Now let's get to the actual swiping aspect. Most guys will spam swipe without thinking about it at all. This is not a good way to use dating apps. Here's what you should do. Set your preferences based on what you actually want. Mindful's liking makes you seem desperate and lowers your value. Actually look at the person's profile to determine if you're interested. Messaging. So you have matched with a cutie. Now it's time to send a message. This is where a lot of you will falter. Opening message. Avoid close-ended one-liners, boring messages, and excessive compliments. For example, hey, sup, what's up? Instead, open up with something that will lead to a flowing conversation. For example, a comment related to her profile. Toss up. Pickup lines can be great or a dud depending on her response. Also, don't make things sexual in the openers. If the conversation is doing good, ask for a number or her social media, preferably number. But don't do it too early. After you get her off the app, don't rush into asking her out on a date. Instead, keep the conversation going. A lot of girls will get scared off and ghost you if you ask them too early. Phone calls slash FaceTimes are a great next step and should be done before an initial meeting. It can save you a bad day if you feel there's no chemistry between you. Be clear with your intentions. Don't string someone along if their intentions don't match yours. What not to do? X. Here are some common X you should avoid. Pictures with another woman. Obsessive slash excessive showing off like with an expensive car. Being overly sexual. Coming on too strong without building a foundation, for example, let's watch this together at my place. Love bombing, being overly affectionate can seem disgenuine. Don't talk about girls or your exes.